With the latest release of Generate Blocks 1.9 and Generate Blocks Pro 1.7 comes an entirely new pattern library. Now, what might seem simplistic on the surface is actually very powerful. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can rapidly prototype wireframes using this new pattern library and how it will inherit all your theme styles to make this very scalable to easily be able to create new websites way faster than you ever did before. If that sounds interesting to you, then stick around and let's get started. So we'll start here with a blank page inside the editor. I'm gonna click the Generate Blocks logo in the top right corner, and we'll click Open Pattern Library. Now this is gonna load all of the patterns in. And what you see here is actually quite a bit different than what we had in the pattern library before. As you can see, these new patterns are less stylized and less opinionated. These you can think of more as wireframes. Now there's some huge advantages to going this route, and hopefully I can demonstrate that in this video, but let's talk about all the different nuts and bolts inside this window. Of course, we have a search feature up here where you can search for different sections, and we also have all these buttons where you can click through the different categories of sections. So we have things like CTAs, FAQs, feature sections, heroes, and more. But the thing I love most about this pattern library and what allows us to rapidly prototype pages using it is this bulk insert button. With that selected, now I can bulk insert multiple patterns into my page. Let me show you how that works. Here inside this page, I wanna start everything with a hero. We'll go ahead and click this one to start off with. Now, next on this page, we probably want some kind of feature section. I'll let these load in here. And I think something like this would look good for my purposes. Next, I wanna add some testimonials. So we'll go to the testimonials category and I'll add this testimonial five. Lastly, I wanna go in here and add some kind of CTA to finish off this page. And let's see here, I'd like to do something maybe dark to contrast with what I've done on this page so far. So we'll go ahead and add CTA six. As you can see here, it's added all the different patterns here and we can move these around or we can remove patterns or preview those patterns. But I'm pretty happy with what we came up with, so I'm just gonna click Insert All. Just like that, all of these patterns have been added to our page. If I hit Update and we go look at it on the front end, you can see we've added every single one of these patterns in just a few seconds. But what I think is even better about this pattern library is them taking advantage of the new class system inside of Generate Blocks. There are a few different classes that are reused throughout all these patterns that give us the ability to update these classes and have them reflect across all the patterns. Let me show you how that works. I'm gonna go ahead here and click on this headline. And if we go into the block, we can see it has this class of GBP section headline added to it. I'm gonna go ahead and click into that so we can make some edits to it. Just to make it really apparent what changes we're making, I'm gonna change this text color to red and I'm gonna change the font size to maybe 60 pixels, just so we have something really big. We can see now we've edited this class, and as we scroll down our page, it's gonna affect anything else using that same class. Even though this was from a completely different pattern, it shares the same class, so it's getting the same updates. This is really powerful in being able to customize all of these patterns to fit your site's design. This means we can make some simple tweaks here and really customize everything to the look and feel of whatever brand you're working with. But check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and update this change here so our new style is saved in the system. I'm gonna go back to the pattern library and when I open this up now, you'll see that change we made to the headline style is now being reflected here inside the pattern library. The reason these take just a second to load in here is because they're not static images. They're actually pulling in from the styles of your website. So as you go through and customize all these different classes that come along with these patterns, you'll be able to see the real preview of what they're gonna look like on your site here inside the pattern library. I tend to do a lot more custom design and development work, but there's no doubt if you use any kind of templates that a system like this is really gonna speed things up. Being able to bulk insert different patterns, update the styles, and then see those previews right inside the inserter is actually a pretty awesome feature that I don't know exists in any of the other builders. I'm really excited about the way the team at Generate Blocks did this, and I can't wait to try this out on a few builds to see how quickly I can get websites built. 
I'd be very interested to hear if this is a feature you're excited about as well, so make sure to leave a comment down below. If you learned something new in this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of the new features inside Generate Blocks, hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.